you've noticed, um, there's been millions of dollars worth of renovations that had to go into this ballpark because of the hurricane. Have you noticed anything around here or just how nice it looks? Maybe even the fact that it looks the exact same to you from last weekend. Um, I noticed yesterday during BP, you know, the cranes around and them trying to fix everything up from all the damage last year. Um, I heard there was a lot of signs missing. I think a couple of them have gotten replaced. I mean, it's devastating what happened to not only the stadium, but the whole community around here and even the whole state of Florida. Um, you know, it's cool to see uh, people coming together to help bring everything back and fix everything. Uh, and hopefully it's ready for when, whenever spring training starts. What's it been like just to be back with the guys and what is it like starting to get to know Sean Murphy personally and seeing him out there? Being back with the guys has been great. It's, it's like we didn't have an off season at all. We're all making fun of each other and cracking jokes the whole time. And Murphy's been great. He's fit right in and, and has gotten everyone's sense of humor, which is which is really good to see. And it's it's very big, especially um, being a new catcher coming to a, a brand new pitching staff. You know, you don't really know anyone, but if you fit in like he does so well, it's going to be really easy for him. What can you guys learn from each other and take away from each other? Just getting to be side by side in the lockers, out in the field. What can you learn? Uh, we both experienced different things. So just communicating through our different experiences that we've had. And um, that's basically, that's that's the biggest thing I would say. Uh, He's played, he's played a, a bunch of different games than I have, seen a lot of different situations than I have. So when certain situations come up in games, I'm sure that's when the experience will come out or when we're in the back room talking with Sal and Eddie and all the guys back there. Um, I think more importantly than anything is just learning each other and, and uh, making fun of each other. And you can't go wrong with that. I know it's super early, but how are you kind of navigating and working with the pitchers when it comes to the pitch clock? Uh, it's new. I mean, we've only caught – or. I've only caught one day of bullpens. Uh, I know they have it like behind us so the pitchers can kind of get used to it. Um, I think we'll adapt. I mean, we have to. Otherwise, it's going to be a ball and, and we'll lose. So I know nobody nobody here wants to do that. How much of that falls on the catcher, though? I mean, or, or is it entirely the pitcher just to keep an eye on it? Because you'll, you'll have a, a view of it in the outfield, I would think, right? Like, so how much of that I think will fall so. on the catcher? Uh, it's both. You know, we both got to work quick because if we don't get a sign down in time, it's a ball, obviously, or um, if we kind of lose track of how many times you've picked over, which it probably will happen in spring training to somebody. Uh, it's, you know, it's a learning experience for everyone. I know the umpires will probably be a little strict in spring training just to make sure everybody gets used to it. So in the season when it happens, it's nothing new. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of trial by fire and just go out there and see what happens and try to get it right before season starts. Good. Oh, go, going back to Sean, uh, you guys have made the having two catchers here playing a lot work the last few years. How much does that help? You know, going into this season, that you guys have done it so successfully in the past few. Oh, a lot. It, it helps a lot. Uh, we're extremely confident in in what he does, and from from what I've seen and what everyone's seen, and with how he talks to everyone, it's it's going to be a lot of fun this year. And and uh, I'm excited to watch him play. I know watching him play last year only from the side view when he was catching. It kind of blew my mind of how great of a receiver he is. And even watching how he talked to all his pitchers blew my mind too, especially for someone who only had a couple years in the big league. So um, it's going to be fun. It'll be special. It'll be a special year for both of us. What was the initial reaction? I mean, is there any part of you like, oh, like this is going to this is going to change things Like when the, the trade was announced? I mean, what was the initial reaction? Um, I was on a flight back to California. Mm -hmm. um, I was stoked. I know he's a great player, and I know he's going to make the Braves better. Uh, so I was stoked. What are your expectations for this rotation? I mean, when you look at you got a 20 game winner, you have a second, you know, runner up to the Cy Young. What do you think? How good can this rotation be this year? Uh, the possibilities are endless. I think communication, I'm going to preach that again, as long as they just stay tight together and keep pulling on the same rope, um, along with Sean and I, um, good things are, good things are going to come. Um, as far as the total wins, I don't know. It's, Winning is a is a it's a team sport. So as as long as we're all pulling together on the same rope and um, talking in between in between innings and and just going out there and doing what they did last year, I see I see a really good year coming. In your opinion, what makes Strider so unique? Uh, his fastball. I mean, it's not only his fastball, not only the velocity, the movement of it, uh, the spin of it, and his command is exceptional too. So, I mean. 
It's a unicorn pit, that's what I like to call it. Given the fact that he's a little more of a goofy guy, like, is it ever, you're trying to be serious and he's not, like, is there ever a little bit of, like, a moment where you're like, but I'm being serious and he's not, and joking around, or? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. He can, he has the switch where, you know, he can tell if it's serious or not, and, and same, he could, like, have a conversation and you could tell if he's serious or if he's joking around. Who, who's his best imitation model? He says he does a lot of good ones. Uh, there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he, I haven't seen one bad one, I'll say that. Okay. Yeah. But an, what would be an example of a good one? You know, there's some things that are, that happen that we can't talk about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Golf, though, is one way that we were talking about that is a team bonding, for the most part. Oh, yeah. What, what is that kind of like with the guys, and how does that help create, you know, you guys to be closer? Um, well, golf's another sport where you fail, so to just go out there together and see how everybody handles failure and throw a couple jabs here and there, it's... It's virtually what it's like playing a game in, in season. And not only that, you get to spend more time together, you get to crack some more jokes and, and learn about each person more and more. And it's just a fun time. It's a fun time, especially if some days there's 16 of us out there and um, on the last hole, everybody's hanging around on the last hole and making fun of everybody's shot coming in. And it's a good time. Best golfer on the team? You know, we had a tournament on off day one year, and I picked A.J. Minter as my first overall pick, so I'm going to stick with that, A.J. Minter. And how often do you guys do this? Um, can or what? No, I mean, it, it depends. Like, if there's a if there's an off day with a night game and we didn't have a crazy travel day, you know, we might go golfing. Or it, it kind of depends on who, towards the end of the year, if you're catching all the time, you know, it's not as fun, but I would still go in the golf cart and, I, I, I was going to say a cuss word, but make fun <laughs> of everyone. And uh, so it's, we try to go on off days and for the most part. Always the same golf course? Do you guys like go out, like go to Tampa? Like where is it? Just all around? Just anywhere? all around, yeah, all around anywhere. What are your just hopes for Mike Soroka coming back after battling two major injuries? And what do you hope to see from him in spring training? And what can he be, I guess? I mean, we all know what he can be. He's, a, he's an all star. I think he still has it in him, he has the dog in him still. I mean, the last, what I saw last of him was when he, when he last got hurt and he wanted to walk off the field and he had a torn Achilles, so um, I, I think he's going to be good. I think he's going to help us out a lot. I think he's going to get his form back, and I, I know he wants the ball, and I know he wants to be up there, and there's nothing more that you could ask for from a, from a pitcher.